Well, I'm making a video response to a uh, Yahoo, you know, responded to my video, responded to my comment that when I was able to type, you know, like I said, fingers and short, right? Yeah. You know, this one person comes back with this, what, uh, Grace Overall, I guess is their name. Uh, I think it's female. I don't know why. It just something about them. It says stuff like, uh, unfortunately, the Lord left us with no proof that he exists. Okay, there's no proof. How do you know it's a he first? He, doesn't, he does not w uh, will that there be any proof, simply because if you could prove that he exists, well then, of what use is faith? What the hell kind of excuse is that? For the reason there's no proof. Sounds like a straw man contest or a straw man principle, whatever the hell you call those things. <laughs> Where there's real, no real supposition. There's no real substance to the experiment. It's basically an esoteric one, like uh, whether God exists or not. It was a myth in the first place. You don't get that. And yet, you yourself say, Grace O'Ron, that, that, that it says, faith existed long before the church or the media did. Furthermore, only one truth can exist. Well, that's true. If evolution is true, then all religions are wrong. Well, not all. Not all religions have the creation thing like you do, Christians. And why is your religion right? I know, you're a Christian. I'm, I'd be willing to bet you're a Christian. And you seem to think the bill of the Bible is true. Have you actually read the damn thing? I mean, really, I mean, talking snakes, chariots of fire, burning bushes, guys who say they can see into the future. You know, uh, one, there's one that said he's eagle. He saw a UFO and he thought it was God because he was so superstitious. You know, I mean, what else is he going to think? They didn't have any other reference point. Uh, oh, why did he see a UFO? Well, check it out. Wheels within wheels. The sound of the rushing waters of many waters, you know, like a rocket sounds like, you know, straight legs of feet of burnished brass, like a hooves, like a calf's hoof. Yeah. Great flame without it and within it. Great light, you know, great sound in where it went, the wheels went, where the wheels went, it went. Creatures came out of it with, yeah, come on. You know, why does God have to use special effects? You're God. He's supposed to be omnipotent and omniscient, right? Why would it have to use special effects? Exactly. So, uh, then your God is the true God. The Christian God is the true God. And that's the true religion, right? You follow the Bible, right? I mean, really. Come on, you're talking about things like, uh, like Leviticus. Have you read Leviticus by any chance? I doubt it, because if you did, you'd probably get sick. It's all about this. Your daughter's getting married. You go, oh, honey, how wonderful. You have to ask her, though. Are you a virgin still? You know, it's going to look at you kind of funny, and I wonder if it's uh, really any of your fucking business. But you're going to tell her, you know, she's going to tell you, no, I'm not a virgin. Why? You know what you got to do next? Your God says you do. You got to drag her outside. Have all your neighbors pick the perfect stones. Take her to the front door of your house. And have her stoned to death because she's not a virgin. It's called honor killing. It's a disgrace. <laughs> Why... Is your religion and God so sexually frustrated? Huh? Why are you so sexually frustrated? Why is it that almost everything you have going through your little heads, you Christians, has something to do with sex? I think you're all a bunch of perverts. Catholic or pedophiles? Y'all are just straight up perverts. You're so perverted that you even copy some other religious covenant just because it sounds righteous, I guess. I don't know. You, 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 your boys are probably circumcised. Am I right? Grace overall? 
I don't doubt that, that they're circumcised, and that's a Jewish covenant. Either that or some god up there who's omnipotent, omniscient, doesn't have provide for or need any creatures to, uh, let's see, recognize his existence because it's omnipotent and omniscient. It knows what's going to happen. And knowing what's going to happen, there's obviously no free will that you keep bragging about. Yeah, I got free will. And I know right from wrong without a deity telling me that. I just know that it's not right to kill. I just know that it's not right to steal from somebody. What's wrong with you people? You stupid. Again, and then you say this thing about only your religion has the truth and only the Bible is true. Talking snakes. Okay, wheels within wheels, sounds of many waters and flying, flying fucks and dragons and creatures from big and arcs that carried every single creature of the world for a flood that flooded the earth. Uh, the last time the earth was flooded like that it was probably mm, three billion years ago. <laughs> Man, just stop it, okay? Wake up, get a clue. Get your nose out of the freaking Bible and put it in the origin of species. I swear you'll do a lot better. You won't have to explain yourself. No, because it's already explained. <laughs> that's what I got to say. And that's the answer to that. Good night.